You have five minutes. More questions after. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. As everyone knows, I campaigned on contracting out garbage, and that's exactly what we're doing today. I want to thank Councillor Denzel Minam Wong, Chair of the Works Committee, for leading the charge and doing an absolutely phenomenal job. I want to thank Doug Holliday, Deputy Mayor, for contracting out garbage in 1995 in Etobicoke. It's been a huge success and it saves the taxpayers $2 million every year. Madam Speaker, I think people said enough is enough after they endured a 40-day garbage strike last year. It hurt our city, it hurt tourism, and it hurt people's livelihood. We cannot have any more strikes in this city. I said, when I'm mayor, there will not be any more strikes. This is step one. Okay, you know what, I'm going to tell the, uh, the members and the, the, uh, and the public that if there's any outburst, I will have to ask you to leave. So please cooperate so you can listen to the debate and the speakers and the questions. I'd appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Speaker. As you know, over 60% of the people in the city want garbage contracted out. It's going to have a fair comparison after this is achieved. At the end of today, you're going to have a true comparison next year. You're going to have contracted out garbage west of Young Street and garbage delivered by the private sector east of Young Street. We know that it's going to save the taxpayers an extra $8 million a year. Times are tough, and we have to find every way to save money and deliver services more efficiently. This is one way. This is coming back for the people that think it's going to bid committee and not coming back. It is coming back. So all the fear-mongering goes out the window. We know that since 1995, in Etobicoke, people are very happy with the garbage service they get. Madam Speaker, this is something that has to be done. We cannot carry on the way we're going. That is the bottom line. We have done a lot in the first 160 days since I've been mayor. We campaigned on getting rid of the car registration tax. We did it. We campaigned on reducing council's expenses. We did it. We campaigned on reducing the mayor's office budget. We did it. We campaigned on getting rid of the free food at council meetings. We did it. Our transition team came under budget. I turned down, personally, a $17,000 pay increase. We're leading by example, ladies and gentlemen. We're leading from the top. My own budget of $2.7 million, I reduced it by $700,000. Variety Village needed a bus stop. We did it. TTC had to be made essential service. We did it. We came in with a 0% property tax increase this year. We did it. We said we were going to bring mixed martial arts to Ontario. We did it and brought $40 million created revenue for the city that was needed. We doubled the public consultation time of the 2011 budget process from two to four days. We did that. We said we we're going to build subways, Madam Speaker. We did that. Can, can, uh, 
Can I have a motion for an extension recorded vote? Councilor Mamaliti, please. Councilor Berardinetti, please. This is for an extension. Councilor Davis, please. Because that doesn't bring any money to the city, does it? Councilor DeBeer Maker on the extension. Councilor Mamaliti. It brings millions of dollars. Why is it funny? Why do you find it funny? Councillor Mamaliti. The, the mayor's mic is on. Yeah, right. Without the city's blessing. Give me a break. Give me a break. The motion to extend carries 30 to 3. Okay. Mayor Ford, you can continue. Um, thank you, Madam Speaker. You know, we're going we're gonna to divide ourselves up today into two groups. This is going to be very simple for the taxpayers to see. You're going to have one side of council that is going to support high taxes, big spending, out of control union contracts. We're going to have the other side. We're going to have the other side of council that is going to demonstrate Restraint in spending? Councillor uh, Councillor Carroll, please. Oh, I'm sorry, did I say that out loud? You did. <laughs> Councillor Carroll. Councillor Carroll, the rules apply to members of council too. And if you disrupt, I will ask you to leave. Thank you. Okay, Mayor Ford, please continue. Uh, thank you. You know what? Uh, Madam Speaker, you don't have to ask them to apologize. Just look up where it's coming from, and I understand. It's... um. Or we're going to have the other side of people that are going to have respect for taxpayers' money, that want to bring accountability to City Hall, that are sick and tired of the tax and spend socialists down in the city. That's where it's going to come down to. So we're going to have the left or you're going to have the right. And I can tell you right now, people support fiscally responsible councillors coming down here and doing what I said we've done for the 160 days we've been in office. So I want to thank the chairs, again, Councillor Denzel Minna Wong for doing this. I want to thank Deputy Mayor Holliday. And I'm looking forward to the debate. And I hope, for the taxpayer's sake, that we contract out garbage, everything west of Young Street, by the end of today. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, so we have questions to staff. Uh, Councillor Carroll. Oh, do you have questions to the mayor? Okay, just, just one. If you have questions to the mayor, if you can put your name, if you can... No, I have no questions. Yes, I am, yeah. Okay, I'm just... If you have questions to the mayor, please listen. You put your name in the middle where it says request to question. Does anybody have questions to the mayor? No? Well, Councilman Havoc changed his mind. His name.